Arthur Hayes is a former investment banker, now crypto multi-millionaire and founder of the BitMEX Crypto Exchange. And today with an estimated fortune of $500 million, he clearly knows a thing or two about investing, making money and crypto. Now, in a recent interview, Arthur shared some incredibly useful insights into what is going on in the world of finance and investing right now. And he believes one of the biggest bull markets is coming our way into stocks and crypto, but then followed by one of the biggest crashes in history, again followed by another great depression. The good news, however, is that he also shares how the average person can benefit from this massive global wealth transfer, no matter how much money you have today. And so in this video, we'll be covering why the biggest boom and bust of our lifetimes is coming our way. Then the $100 trillion elephant in the room, which is the bond market. And then we'll finish how the average investor can structure their portfolio to benefit from this massive transfer of wealth. Okay, first up, Arthur Hayes explains why the biggest boom bust in our lifetimes is coming our way and why the central banks will not be able to stop it. I absolutely agree there's going to be a major financial crisis probably as bad or worse than the Great Depression sometime near the end of the decade. Before we get there, we're going to have, I think, the largest bull market in stocks, real estate, crypto, art, you name it, um, that we've ever seen since World War II. We've you know, gone from I know 100% debt to GDP globally to about 360% um, as per the World Bank. And we are accelerating the amount of debt that we're adding on to the pile. Why? Because in the rich world, including China, Russia, and Brazil, we've stopped having enough kids. So the population is actually declining. So if you have all this debt and you don't have more humans being born to essentially do stuff to pay it back, um, the only way to ensure the system is solvent is for the governments and the central banks to start printing money. Uh, and now we've gotten to the situation where we have all this debt that needs to be rolled over. And so we're just going to keep adding on debt because that's the only way the government can stay in business. And now we've gotten to the situation where there's so much debt that, and it's accelerating in an exponential fashion, that in order to save the market this time, right? So I think in the next three to six months, there's going to be some sort of major market disturbance and probably in the, the U.S. Treasury or other large global bond markets. And the solution is going to be, let's print the most money that we've ever printed to try to save essentially this fiat financial system that we've created um, since World War II, which is going to, in the first instance, create a massive bull market in anything, you know, like stocks, crypto, real estate, things that have a fixed supply. Um, maybe they're productive. They have some earnings. And then after that, we're going to find out actually... The government can't save everything. They can't just print as much money as they think to try to save themselves and um, fix the price of the, the yield of their bonds. And we're going to get a generational collapse. And, but that's sort of the my overarching like macro cycle thesis. So, you know, massive top 2026 time frame and then, um, you know, some sort of you know, Great Depression like situation happening towards the end of the decade. So, an incredibly difficult time to be an investor right now. Globally, the central banks have created a ridiculous amount of debt. Now, having a debt to GDP ratio over 100% is obviously really, really bad. Right now, the US debt to GDP is 120% and globally, it's a crazy 330%. So to pay off this massive debt problem, you can either be more productive, but to be productive, you need people. And what's happening globally? Birth rates are falling. So all you can do is print more money to pay the debt payments. What can go wrong, right? 
And this is why a massive, big liquidity financial boom is coming our way 2024, then 2025, and why Arthur Hayes then believes, followed by a massive crash and depression. Yowzers. Okay, so next up, one of the biggest financial markets in the world is the bond market to the tune of around a hundred trillion dollars. And it's having one of its worst periods in over 200 years, causing banks to go bankrupt. So what is going on? The, over the last you know, 40 to 50 years, the financial ecosystem um, has been predicated on a scenario where there's never been a situation where long end, so let's call it 10 or 30 year bond yields in the US, um, rise, so they go up, but they go up faster than in short term yields. It's called a bear steepener. The US banking system. The US banking system is functionally insolvent because the regulators made the rules in such a way that it was profitable from an accounting perspective, not an economic perspective, um, to essentially take in deposits and buy low yielding treasuries. And they could do it with almost infinite leverage and a few basis points difference in the, in the change in the price and everybody make a lot of money and everybody gets a big bonus. So if you take a look at returns of 10 year bonds starting in the end of 2021, when the Fed started raising rates, you've gotten absolutely killed. It's been the worst bond bear markets in hundreds of years, right? So owning bonds has been a terrible, terrible investment over the last two years because inflation is going up and the bond market saying, actually, I demand more yield and the geese keeps going higher and higher and higher and higher to attract more and more buyers. But on the long end, and this is how bonds work, the, the longer the maturity, the more risk, more sensitive you are to interest rates. If you were holding a long bond at one, two percent, and now it's at five, you've gotten crushed. And that's exactly what happened with the banking system, you know, SVB, First Republic, uh, Silvergate Signature, you know, um, this year they've gotten crushed on long, long bond trading. So here's the thing, even if you don't invest in bonds, it's worthwhile understanding what's going on because it's such an enormous amount of money, the money flows impact everything. So why are the banks going bankrupt? Why can't they just give depositors 5% like money market funds? Well, it's all because of this bear steepener. So the bear steepener is essentially when long-term bonds like 10, 20, 30 year bonds rise faster than short-term bonds. And this is why the banks have been caught with their pants down. So the banks have taken in customer deposit and bought long-term government bonds earning say 2%. And then they give you and me less than 1% and they make the difference earning a ton of money and everybody gets a fat bonus. However, with the Fed raising rates so quickly, all of a sudden we can all get 5% in things like money market funds. So why keep our money in the banks? People then withdraw their money, but the banks still have these 10, 20, 30 year bonds. So unless the Fed bails them out, oh dear, bankrupt. And the problem right now is that short term yields are still going higher and higher. So unless the Fed either bails them out or lowers rates, expect more bankruptcies. And this is why the Fed has created one of the worst bond bear markets in hundreds of years. Okay, and to finish up, how do we structure our portfolios to get the maximum benefit from this epic boom coming our way? Now on to like, you know, don't freak out and go, you know, move all your money into gold or whatever or something and, you know, suffer some capital losses. My, you know, how I structure my portfolio is to benefit from both situations. I have high nominal rates right now, right? I know on a real basis I'm losing money, but thankfully, um, as a percentage of my, uh, my net worth, the amount of money I consume on food and energy is very low. So even if I have a 5% rate and it's still a negative real gate, on the amount of capital that I have, I'm still making more than I need to sustain myself. So keep some money in cash, put it in a money market fund. You're making five, 6%.
and take whatever you can afford, a small amount, and put it in something that's going to benefit if money printing resumes. That could be NVIDIA stock. It could be Bitcoin. It could be um, productive farmland, whatever. You want to have a bar bond. You want to make sure that in the event that the, the money starts getting printed, I can easily move out of my short-term you know, money market fund government bond into the risky stuff with a fixed supply and zoom up that way. Or if nothing happens, I'm still earning money. I'm starting to earn yield over here on my, my, uh, my treasuries or whatever, short-term government bonds. I can fund some of my, my expenses and I, I run a positive carry trade, meaning I've structured my portfolio such that if shit really fucks up, I'm going to make so much money in, on the, on, in that situation. But as long as nothing is very calm, I'm still covering day-to-day -day expenses. And so you want to have a, a, an optionality portfolio that costs you little to nothing, if not makes you money over time. If you're able to construct that, then again, timing doesn't matter because you're not paying for time. If you're selling a bunch of stuff and you've got everything in the risky bucket, yes, I would agree with you. Then you're like, well, when is it going to happen? It didn't happen last month and I'm down, I'm down such percent or I needed to buy, you know, go to the hospital because I had an emergency injury and I had to sell down some of my, this portfolio that I'm like betting on this collapse and that was financially ruinous, right? So it's all about trying to construct this portfolio where the cost of waiting is zero to making money versus, you know, it's costing me money the longer this takes to happen. Arthur Hayes is a former investment banker, now crypto multi-millionaire. He says one of the biggest bull markets in history is coming to stocks and crypto, but then followed by one of the biggest crashes and depressions not seen since 1929. The banks are getting crushed right now on long-term bonds as the Fed raised rates at the fastest time in history, catching them all with their pants down. And he says to win and benefit financially from all of this, you want to structure your portfolio like a barbell. On one side, you have cash and equivalents, earning 5% while we wait for the money printer to be turned back on. And you can use things like money market funds or international users of Coinbase can get 5% on USDC right now. And then the higher risk stuff on the other side, like crypto, Nvidia, tech stocks, which will explode when liquidity comes back. And this is how you win both ways. And when the Fed finally pivots, it's very easy to move the cash into the high risk stuff to get maximum returns. So there you are guys, hope you enjoyed. Now lots of stuff covered, so let me know your thoughts below. However, do remember to get rid of 100% of the comment spam and trading bots that plague YouTube comments. We are trying out the new super thanks commenting system so to get your question or comment read and replied to or just to say thanks then use super thanks below and just to say if you did enjoy anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does and i'll see you in the next video bye for now